Hey guys, Mac here. So a little while ago, a couple of months ago now, I did a video about the VMware Fusion 11 release and around all the problems I was having with it. VMware have released a couple of patches since then, taking us up to 11.02. Now, a lot of those problems seem to have been resolved, so I, th I thought it'd be worth just revisiting those issues and see what's been fixed. So the first and main thing that's been fixed is that now I can have Parallels installed, I could have been using it, and now I can also start virtual machines in VMware. Previously, I was getting an error around too many virtual machines. I don't get that issue anymore. Now, let's have a look at the performance as well. Now, before we do that, let's have a quick look at the configuration of this machine. I've got four processor cores allocated and eight gig of RAM. Now, the hard disk that's on this is configured for the NVMe driver. There you go. Let's fire this up and we'll have a look at the performance and, and see if anything's improved. There we go. Let's get logged in. Now I will say subjectively, it does feel a hell of a lot faster. Now, if we look at our Geekbench results, I previously run the Geekbench on this machine and also on an equivalent Parallels machine, this one down here. And just to show you the configuration of the one on Parallels, you'll see that I've also got four processor cores allocated and eight gig of RAM. So let's have a look at those results. Now, as you can see there, both the single core and the multi-core, they're about as close together as you're going to get. So it looks like they've resolved that performance issue as well. Now, the other issue I was, I was having was around network performance. So let's have a look at that. So first off, I'm just going to do a, a local speed test. There we go. Now my network is busy at the moment. Normally I get sort of 900 up, up and down, but let's run the speed test actually within the virtual machine as well. There we go. And as we can see here, they are fairly similar now. I'm happy that that's been resolved. I'm currently uploading a couple of machines to Azure. That's why the upload speeds uh, dropped so much. But yeah, they fixed the networking issues as well. So what about things like snapshots? Well, I think the way that Parallels and VMware do snapshots must be different. So let's have a look at our snapshots. So what I'm going to do is just take a virtual machine snapshot in Fusion. There you go. Now you get your machine back really quickly. Okay, so we can still use it. All right, but if you can see down in the uh, toolbar, you can see that it's still doing some stuff to actually take that snapshot. But you can actually carry on using the machine at this point. Now what we'll do is I'll remove Office from this machine and we'll, we'll have a look and see how long it takes to restore that snapshot. Okay, so you can see that's done. Now it does take a little while, but of course you can use the machine while it's happening. So it's not like I have to sit there and watch it. Now let's have a look at the performance when restoring the snapshot. So what I'm going to do is actually just remove Office from this machine. Now I won't make you sit through this because it's not very interesting, but let me get Office on it and then we'll restore the snapshot. Okay, so we've got Office off this machine now. So what I'm going to do is restore the snapshot. Now, personally, I'm always more interested in how long it takes to restore than it does to actually take the initial snapshot. Let's restore it. We'll see how long it takes. There we go, it's done. Now that is a lot better than it was. It certainly feels a lot better. Now, let's look at the general operation of this. So let's fire up some Office apps. There we go, there's Visios, Excel, Word, PowerPoint. Now, this machine is back to feeling like I was expecting and how it used to operate under VMware 10. So they've obviously made some very good changes in the recent patches. And I think they've done a really good job of it. It's back to being what I was expecting. Now. Let's shut this machine down because what we can do is because I've got parallels next to it. Let's have a look at some comparative performance. Let's get that out of the way. 
So this machine here in Parallels is basically the same build. We've got four cores allocated, eight gig of RAM. We'll look at the power up and power down times of that and also at the snapshotting as well. So let's get rid of Fusion. So let's fire up my Parallels machine. Let's get logged in. Okay, so let's fire up some Office apps. You should see now that the performance is very, very similar between the two. Now this is what I was used to before, and it's why um, the original release of VMware 11 just broke all my workflow. So now I'm back to the same sort of performance I was getting. Now what about things like snapshotting? I will say the snapshotting feels slightly a slightly better experience in in parallels and I'll show you what I mean I'm just going to take a snapshot there we go it's done now I don't know if it's doing stuff in the background because that's certainly what fusion looks like it's doing but what I'm going to do is just remove office from this machine much like I did on the other one again I won't make you sit through this because it's not interesting but let's look at the uh, the restore time Okay, we've got Office off this machine. Let's have a look at the performance of restoring that snapshot. There we go, and we're ready to go. So now we can fire up our Office apps again. So I think you can see my point. The uh, snapshotting within Parallels does seem to present better. I know you can carry on using the machine in, in Fusion while it's taking that snapshot, but I'm not quite sure what it's up to. Now let's get this machine shut down. So just from my perspective, I think VMware fixed all the problems I was having. So I'm back to um, having my workflow back. Which product would I choose, Parallels or Fusion? Well, here's the thing, I use both of them. And what I find is, is my desktop productivity environment, like my Windows 10 stuff, I tend to prefer Parallels. But all my server-based stuff, I always put in Fusion. And, and one of the reasons I've always done that is the fact that it makes it so much easier getting it up to my work VMware systems, things like ESX. If you only wanted one of those work environment or one of those virtualization environments, would I recommend one over the other? Well, the real driver for me comes down to whether you need to integrate to um, things like VMware ESX. These products, they are so, so close, and I, I suspect you'll be happy with either of them. But like I say, my preference is Parallels for my desktop working environment and Fusion for all the rest of it. Anyway, really pleased that VMware fixed all these issues for me. I feel like I've got my main working environment back.